Hey everyone, um, I did the little sneak peek for this one earlier because it's a um, one shot Saturday I'll call it, you know. So every Saturday what I'll do is um, I'll give you guys a sneak peek of uh, the figure I want to review in the morning with the picture and then I'll follow up with the video later that evening. Um, Alright, so this one's uh, for the Xenoverse to Goku. The Super Master Stars piece, you know, the SMSP, as they call it for short. Um, these pieces are, I mean, if, okay, so if I didn't, if I didn't have these guys, like my movie collection, then I would fill this whole wall with these guys, because that's how awesome they were. At different times though, you know, it's like, uh, it, well, to be fair, these guys are articulated, maybe not the most, but they are articulated. Like, you can physically play with these guys if you, you know, you, um, you, uh, take them out of the box and everything, you know, you can physically play with them. So, I mean, they're cool for that, you know, and honestly, for the early 2000s, they're not bad. They're not like, you gotta take into consideration when they were released, you know? Um, I think there were, expect you know what, especially the um, cooler, like the the coolers, um, that special paint metal cooler. I'll do a review on them uh, for probably a one shot Saturday or something uh, because uh, excellent. When If Labs first came out with that, it was epic. But anyway, sorry, going on a rant. But this is <laughs> keep doing that. Um, so this is for, uh, the Xenoverse 2, uh, Master Stars piece, Goku. Um, this one's, you know, very important to me. Uh, this is a gift from my brother. I actually, here's a little fun fact. I've never played any of the Xenoverses. I haven't played part one or part two. Um, wasn't my thing. I started getting out of games by that time when I got a little older. Um... And I, I just, I don't know, I just didn't find the same joy in playing games anymore. Um, I mean, the most recent game that I had fun with for Dragon Ball was Dragon Ball Fighters, And I got Kakarot, but I have not even gotten past the training in Kakarot. And I've had it since its release date, the Collector's Edition. So, I mean, that says that, you know. I just, um, I don't know. Uh, but... This piece, let's get into it. Um, let's see here. So, it's just, I mean, it's really good. <laughs> a lot of, um, a lot of subtle shading, subtle shading. Not, not too crazy, but subtle in this one. Now, there are so many variations of this piece. Like, I honestly don't know. I'm pretty sure there was like 10 or more. Uh, variations of this piece. Some are really rare. Some are somewhat common. But um, uh, this is my favorite one. Uh, not just because my brother gave it to me, but because I like the colors. I think the colors are nice and basic. There's another one or two with similar colors because they have like very small variations with some of them. Some of them are very obviously different. But um, I like this color pattern. You know, this color palette with this one. I think it fits for my display what I did so I'm happy with it um the other mass star pieces are beautiful I do love them I don't own them I'm probably not going to get them um it's not because of price necessarily even though they go for a pretty penny I mean if you guys save up enough you can probably get most of any figure you want except for like that zim that's zim uzaro that's only 10 in the world I think that's the one right the white one is that the 10 in the world one that and the Yardrat Goku. I mean, you're probably not going to get that. <laughs> not to be a downer. But everything else is obtainable, I believe. It's just going to cost you a lot of money. Depending on who you get it from, you know. Uh, some of these figures over the years will go up in price. Some won't, you know. Um, I have some figures uh, that have gone tremendously up, like hundreds of dollars. And then I have some figures that came around the same time and from the same company that have it and i mean some of these some of the figures that are up there in price i don't think look that good but i mean they're grill status so it is what it is um that's why i said um 
that's why like I have my motto like you know collect for yourself not for others you know you can share your collection um, but you know collect for you guys for yourself don't collect based on what's a grill what's not a grill what you know what other people like who cares what other people like you know I mean no offense to you guys but I collect what I like not what I think you guys like if I did that I feel like that's kind of shallow and what would I be I mean I'm not I'm doing I mean I would like a following and subscribers and all that good stuff but I'm not I'm doing this so hopefully you guys can enjoy the reviews and have some fun with it you know but it's not like I, I'm, I'm doing this to make like you guys approve of me you know it's like oh I hope they approve of my figure I mean I don't really care not <laughs> Not to say that in a, like a negative way. It's just like, you know, I'm just sharing my collection. If you like it, cool. If you don't, that's cool. But um, but these figures, the Master Stars pieces, are beautiful. Especially the Gokus. Because, as you can see with the Gokus, there's so much detail. I mean, look at the work in his ripped gi like his pants are just shredded and you can see the freaking detail behind the kneecap and inside the leg it's ridiculous like who thinks of this stuff they they went above and beyond with this and i have um oh my god what is that line called the dragon ball selections version with purunga behind him you know that one that piece and i mean that piece is considered a grail but I like this piece better. I mean that that's a that's a six hundred and up piece, but I mean this I think Xenoverse two Goku you can get on eBay for still two hundred or less maybe. And just so you guys know, this is I have the box available because it was a bigger box and it was in one of the fronts of the closet. So uh, it was I I figured I get it out for you guys. So um, that's the box for this Xenoverse two Goku. But I mean. But that's also the, the, the thing, like the Dragon Ball Selections, Goku with Purunga, those 1 through 7 line, I mean they came out a long time ago, I think it was like 2000, oh my god, 2000, I want to say 8 or 9, maybe earlier, I forgot, it was, it's been a while, like, and I was a younger adult, but I mean those pieces are nice, but because of technology guys, it's 2021. We're going to get some ridiculous looking figures that are going to put resins, you know, put their money where their mouth are. I mean, like, there's some really good PVCs. Like, this thing is a PVC, and look at it. Look at this. It's a freaking beast. I can see there's a gentleman uh, by the name of, uh, I think it's John Turismo. And he, I'm pretty sure he has all of them. And I like the way he displayed it too. They're all like side by side. You see all the variations. And I think they have like three different Bardocks right now. They're on Big Bad Toy Store. Um, I mean, they look cool, but it just doesn't fit my collection, you know? Like, I can't. When I collect, I collect with a certain theme in mind. And I collect with, you know, I try to map out in my mind what it would look like, you know? There's some really nice figures, but I mean, honestly, guys, there are. I want to, yeah, I can easily say tens of thousands of Dragon Ball Z figures. I mean, no one can get them all. Not even Richie. It's just not possible. You won't have the space. You won't have, even if you have the money, you don't have the space. I mean, there's a lot of Dragon Ball figures out there. It's, it is never, it's not going to stop. It's 2021. Dragon Ball is going to keep pumping this stuff out. This is like Japan's baby. I mean, this is like, you know, toy animations baby as far as pushing out merchandise i mean it's not going anywhere even after dragon ball super ends like the manga's still going but even after that ends it's not going to stop they're going to keep making figures keep making reiterations of it so what i do is i i collect uh based on my themes and if i see a better version like a better figure um then i had last for the theme i put like so if i see this goku right and uh, like, for example, say I put my Dragon Ball Selections Goku with Purunga behind him, and I like this one better, I'm not going to, I won't sell that one necessarily, maybe I'll just put it to the side or put it in a different place, but it's going to get replaced, I don't care what kind of grill status it is, I go by, like, the aesthetic of things, like, if it look, this looks good, and it's cheaper, for me it was free, but, 
I mean, you can get this on eBay for 200 bucks, significantly less than the Dragon Ball Selections line, just like you can get the Spirit Bomb Goku. I think that's number seven for Dragon Ball Selections line. That thing's like a thousand bucks. But you can get the Figuarts Zero with the Spirit Bomb that looks good too. So, you know, it's like, um, you know, I, I don't know, but some people collect based on rarity. I don't do that. I collect based on aesthetics, you know? Um, how does it look? There are exceptions to my rule, though. Like, for example, Dragon Ball, uh, the movie collection, I will never get rid of that simply and only for nostalgic reasons. I personally got most of all of these either in store, like KB Toys, Toys R Us, Z Store. If you guys don't know what Z Store was, uh, I don't think it's around anymore, but Z Store was a, drag a Dragon Ball Z website, like specifically Dragon Ball Z. It's basically Funimation. So basically Z Store confirm I mean formed to just Funimation. But Dragon Ball Z was so big back in the day that it run everything. There was a Funimation named its own store after it, you know, but now there's all types of anime, which is cool. Um but these guys, you know, they're um they're not going anywhere. I'm keeping that and I'm keeping my super battle collection because I grew up collecting these things, they're nostalgic. However, pieces like this well, except for this, because my brother's, it's a present for my brother, but, um, but these new figures, I mean, they're replaceable. If I don't hold any sentimental value to it, I mean, if I see a better one, you know, deuces kind of thing, goodbye. I mean, I'll probably trade it, sell it, and if I have space, I'll keep it, but if I don't, I'm going to replace it with something I think is better. Um, but the whole Dragon Ball can't stop, won't stop thing only works if, you know, you, you keep collecting and you keep having space to collect, but eventually you're going to run out of space. So the only way you won't run out of space is if you, you know, sell, trade, or closet some figures that, you know, you have. But my God, this rant. You know what, guys? I just, maybe I should just do like, I don't know, uh, what are those live thing? One of those YouTube lives or something because I've got a lot to talk about. I mean, <laughs> Everything about Dragon Ball Z, it's just a lot. Um, if you guys aren't, like, I know there's a lot of collectors on here that maybe are new to the hobby or new to Dragon Ball maybe and just get started getting into it. If you guys want to learn some stuff about Dragon Ball, of course you can watch the series and all that. But uh, Geekdom101, uh, he's a YouTuber, he's very knowledgeable. When I first came across him, I was like, oh shit, I mean, oh shoot, this guy knows what he's talking about. You know, and he backs it up and he gives you the manga references. He's a really cool dude. I met him at the Kamehameha. He's really nice, uh, down to earth, really genuine. You know, I met Richie as well at the Kamehameha. Same thing, really cool guy. Um, obviously, very dedicated to the to the hobby. Um, I don't know anyone personally that's more dedicated than him to do what he's done. Is just, I mean, I couldn't do it. I couldn't dedicate a whole first floor to this. I mean, not just because I can't afford it. This, I mean, it's beyond that. It's just like my. I mean, my wife wouldn't allow it. That's just, uh, I mean, but it's just, anyway, that's a whole other topic. But uh, kudos to him. But um, anyway, if I can just get on this figure review, guys, I have to start writing, like, <laughs> have to start writing down what I'm going to talk about with the figure because I get off topic very easily. Oh, you almost fell. He did the moonwalker real quick. Uh, if you guys don't know Moonwalker, it's like a Michael Jackson reference. If you guys are too young, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Um, but look at this, guys. Just look. Like, it's not... It's literally like these guys sculpted the body. Like, just sculpted it, right? Sculpted him butt naked perfectly. And then put the clothes on afterwards. That's what it feels like. It feels... It doesn't feel real, but I mean, it... It's so good. It's so good. I mean, if you guys are just getting into the hobby, right? I would recommend going after this line. It's only getting more and more expensive. If you guys want, if you guys can only collect one and you're getting into hobby, this would be one of my recommendations. There are many other lines out there, but the only thing I don't like about this line is that they're seem they're limited with characters. Um but because they have a thousand Gokus, you know, it's like, why? You don't need 20 Gokus. I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but you can do 20 Gokus all you want. But give me some 
Majin Buu's, you know, give me some, uh, you know, Gohan's, not that one. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I have a lot to say about my Jack's Pacific or Jake's Pacific in, in Great Ape. What is it? Great Ape, right? Because I keep, there's like three different names for these. Yeah, no, Giant Ape, Jake's Pacific, um, If Labs. There's a lot of names, but these guys have some funky looking faces, some of them. It's hilarious. Some of them are really good, you know? Uh, but some of them are just like, whoa. But I I still like them for nostalgic reasons, like I said. But back in the day, guys, back in the early 2000s when I was collecting these things, they were all the rage. They were really cool. You know, of course, you can't put this Goku up next to the other. Oh, man. I had to compare it one day for you guys. But you can't put that Goku up next to that one. You can't do it. It's not going to work. It's just not. This guy is just leagues ahead. Um wow look at this guys look at the shading on his foot and his feet sorry um but even look even something subtle like the shoelaces seems like it's literally blowing that one's like blowing and these aren't movable it's not like you can adjust them but that's the way they did it like the artist i mean is there a freak is there an artist on here like i know some figures they have their, their own artists that produce that particular figure but uh, Okay, there we go. Sculptor is Manabu Yamashita. I hope I pronounced I hope I didn't butcher your name. Manabu Yamashita. And the coloring was Hiroyuki Nakazawa. Hiroyuki Hiros. Oh my gosh. I butchered your names. I'm so sorry. But these are the guys responsible for making this beast, and I so appreciate it. This is definitely the best figure I've ever seen come out of a Dragon Ball Collector's Edition for a game. I mean, it, I mean, there's no comparison. I mean, I've watched them, I've seen some come out, and this is no comparison. It's just, I mean, there's some nice ones. Like, I like the diorama they did with the, you know, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, but this thing is probably the best bonus gift you can get for getting a game you know um oh my god 17 minutes i hope you guys like hearing my voice because a whole lot of ranting in this one you guys are probably hang up halfway through the video like oh this guy sucks <laughs> it's all good guys um but this guy's good but if you guys want any questions or have any questions about figures or if you're new to the hobby and you want to know more or what's maybe what you think is worth it, what's not. Like, you can shoot me a message or whatever and say, hey, do you think this is worth this or that? And when I say when you think I, what I think is worth, it's not, I don't mean like, because my opinion is obviously going to be different than someone else's. And I don't mean like what I like versus what you like. I mean like I can compare. Like, say, for example, you say, is this figure worth $300? I want to tell you no. If you ask me if I think it's worth it, I'm like, no, you can get on eBay for like 180 probably, you know, and I'll show you a link and I'll show you an image, screenshot, but look, sold at 180, you know, something like that. But you guys can shoot me questions like that because there are some ripoff artists online, eBay, they have some stupid prices for some figures. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I believe um, Richie shared like a month or two ago, he shared like someone bought a figure he has, which one was it? It was like the silver Perunga. The um the Toy Festival one, the limited edition one, I think they, how many pieces they make of that? I think they made 100 pieces of that. I could be wrong. Don't quote me, okay? Don't quote me. It's like, I know it's limited. Like, I think it's definitely 100 or less. But anyway, someone just paid like 19 grand, like $19,000. I mean, you know, I'm not even going to say if I was rich, I wouldn't do that. But I'm not, because maybe I would, but it depends how filthy rich I am. $19,000 on a figure? I don't think so. I don't, especially with all the figures coming out for Dragon Ball? No. I don't need to have everything of the Toy Festival line. I'm okay. <laughs> I mean, I think Richie said he got it for like 800 bucks or something. I forgot how much he said he got it for, but he got it years ago um, on, um, on the Yahoo auction for a good deal. Well, I mean, honestly, I've seen some of these Toy Festivals come on eBay early like 2000 when they first got released on ebay you know um and i was like oh 800 dollars for this piece is limited to 100 hell no i'm not doing that 
Like, I'm telling you, I passed up some grails that are worth a lot of money now. But that's the thing about the hobby. Like I said, guys, don't buy because it's a grail or you assume it's going to go up in price. Don't, please. You might as well just go for the lottery. Buy because you like it. Like, there was the, the um, Uzaru, the uh, one limited to 100, the gold version. I have the regular version. It was like red eyes and gold all over. I mean, I didn't, I mean, for 800 bucks, I says, no way am I buying that. I don't like, I'm okay with the regular version, you know? Now it's worth like five grand. I mean, who knew? But like they're saying, I'm not going to collect it just because I think it might be worth more. I don't do that. I'm not a scalper. I don't um, collect to try to resell later because I, I think it'll go up and buy it. I don't care about all that, you know? I buy based on what I like. If I if it was like $800 and I really liked it, like, oh my God, I love this. And I get it, you know? But if I don't like it and it's just, oh, everyone else likes it and it's, it's considered a grill and blah, blah, blah. I, yeah, I don't care. I don't care about all that. Um, and hopefully neither do you guys. If you do, you're going to go broke. You're going to be unhappy with your collection. Um, okay, so One Shot Saturdays are officially rant day. Okay, guys? Rant day. I'm going to, you know, when I post this video, I'm going like, to put a warning in the post. Hey, this is a rant. It's going to be a rant. So, I, I don't know. I want to try to uh, maybe do a quick non-talk and put a reference to where you can skip in the video so you guys don't have to hear all this crap. Um, because I'm not good at editing videos, so this whole video is going up as it is. I don't edit any of my videos, so you're going to get what you're going to get. <laughs> um, Alright, I'll give you a quick 360 tour. You know what I'm looking for now, guys? I'm looking for the official, like, you know, copyright. They usually have it on the bottom of the shoe. Let me just find it for you guys, because I don't want you guys to get a fake one. This isn't a fake one, but I want you guys to find out where to look for it, you know, so you guys don't get ripped off or scammed. Um, where are you? They literally all have it. If this one doesn't have it, I'll be extremely shocked. Guys, I don't know where it is. I mean, don't worry. This one's official, but I just don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't They usually have it. Wow, where do they hide it? I mean, honestly, there's so much detail on there. They probably hit it very well somewhere. I don't know, guys. I'm so sorry. If I find it after the video, I'll, um, I don't know. I don't edit my video, so I will maybe try to comment on it and say, oh, it's here. But I don't know where it is, guys. I don't know. Don't know. Where? Wow. Is it really not in the bottom of the shoe? No. Okay. Maybe the Xenoverse 2 one doesn't come with it? I, I don't have any other... Uh, anyway, I lied. I do have two other Master Stars pieces. Um, I'm not going to check them right now, but... I don't know where you are. I don't know. You guys probably know. <laughs> but usually all figures, like even if it's like a game one... Should have some like made in China or something. I don't know. This guy is special. Well, if they do have it, they hit it very well. But anyway, um, I hope you guys like my figure review slash rant. Sorry about that. Um, wow. It was a long video. 24 minutes. Alright guys, but um, tomorrow I'll give you the sneak peek of what's... Uh, what we're going back to normal. It's probably gonna go back to the Dragon Ball collection line. Uh, probably gonna do, probably gonna do Master Roshi or Goku for that. Um, 
I'll give you a sneak peek tomorrow. You'll find out. Then in the following day on Monday, I'll give you the video review for it. It won't be as long as this. I'm going to officially make one shot Saturday my rant days. Because the figure on Saturdays, I do one shot. I'm going to have a lot more to talk about like this one. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. Have a great night, day, wherever you are watching this. Um, and be safe. Thanks. Bye.